Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be talking about the new holiday collection from Shantikai. It's their Lotus collection. And I received this in PR, this is not sponsored. Um, I was not required to talk about these products at all, but I just wanted to dig into these. I actually just got these in the mail yesterday and I knew I wanted to put them all over my face today. So I figured since we're talking about Shantikai, um, I would just go ahead and do a full face of Shantikai because there are just so many products from this brand that I love. It's a very, very pricey, very expensive brand, but I truly feel like there are a select few products in their line that are so unique and I have not found dupes for. Just the formulas themselves, like their baked gelée formula is so, so, so good. Um, and I'll talk about other few products, but yeah, I just, it just inspired me to do a full face of Shantikai. I haven't done one in a while and I haven't honestly used their cushion foundation in so long. So I was just like, let's just do the whole thing. Let's just go big or go home. So that's what we're doing today. Make sure you grab something to drink, grab a snack, grab your makeup if you want to get ready with me and let's go and get started. All right. Let's go ahead and get started. I am so excited. I love when Shantikai comes out with new collections. I always just get so excited. It's like Christmas, like their collections are always just so stunning. So for foundation, I think this is my favorite foundation from Shantikai and that's saying a lot because I love every foundation that I've tried. I love their tinted moisturizer. I love their future skin gel foundation that comes in the pot. And then their cushion foundation, I think is my absolute favorite. I, I don't know, it's hard to choose because they make the most beautiful foundations. Um, so this is their Future Skin Cushion Foundation. I did a review on this, like, I wanna say over, yeah, at least over a year ago, if not longer. Um, it's been a while, um, but this is one of my favorite foundations. So I use this in the shade Nude, I think. I also have a refill, which I think I'm gonna go ahead and open because this one is quite old. Um, so this is what the refill looks like and with every purchase of the cushion you do get a refill so that is nice i know this foundation is very very expensive um but it's nice that you do get the refill so i've never changed oh there we go okay so yeah you just pop it out just like that and then i'm gonna put my refill in there there we go super easy and now i have my little refill and i'm just dipping my sponge in the cushion and then Applying it to the skin. Oh my gosh, it's just stunning. It's stunning. And then for concealer, I have their Le Camouflage Stylo. This was actually a recommendation from Ingrid Nilsson. And this is a gorgeous concealer as well. The only thing I don't like about it is the actual applicator. It's one of those that you have to click. And I'm just not a huge fan of that. The product is beautiful. Um, so that's just me being nitpicky. Um, and I'm taking this in the shade 4W. So beautiful. So, so beautiful. Okay. So, moving on to the actual Lotus collection. They came out with quite a few products. Um, they came out with a blush. A highlighter, a powder, and a lip crystal, which I've tried their lip crystals. Ooh, I've tried their lip crystals before. It's a really fun, just like really unique um, formula. So I'm excited to try this one. Uh, they're, they're really fun and cool and different. So this is their limited edition holiday Lotus collection. Um, and with every lip crystal purchase is one tree planted. And it just looks stunning. Like, look at this press card. Everything is just so beautiful. The packaging is gorgeous. Like, even the box that it comes in. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so let's go ahead and try the powder. This is the Lotus Perfect Blur Glow Powder. So, I'm guessing this is different than their other powder, their Perfect Blur Powder. Because it has the word glow, which the other one doesn't but this is what the packaging looks like. I mean, it you just wanna put this out on your vanity because it's just like a piece of art or something. And then this is what the powder looks like. So, so gorgeous. 
It says, visibly smooth and perfect your complexion with this soft focus blur powder that offers a hint of radiance. So I'm assuming there's no color to it or no coverage. I don't know. It, oh my gosh, I just dropped it. <laughs> um, but we'll, we'll see. I think I'm just going to do one side of my face so we can actually see the difference. Honestly, this reminds me so much of their Perfect Blur Powder, I think that's what it's called. Um, very, very similar. Yeah, it definitely has that like soft focus kind of blurring quality to it. I'm not noticing a ton of glow, which I actually like. I don't like super glowy powders. All right, so this side is powdered, this side isn't. You can definitely see a lot of shine on this side. And this side is pretty matte. So yeah, I'm really not seeing a ton of glow. I mean, there's like a hint of, it's not a glow though. It's just like a little bit of a reflective quality maybe. All right, so let's go ahead and set the other side. Zoom you in so you can see what we're what we've got going on. Yeah, so that's both sides powdered. And just from my perspective, I don't see any color. Like I don't see any kind of tint or anything. I mean when I swatch it with my finger, you can really see the glow there. Um, but yeah, I don't really see any color. Again, I'm just speaking for my skin tone. I don't know how this will translate on other skin tones. All right, so they also came out with a Lotus Radiance highlighter. So this is what the packaging looks like, just like the face powder. And, oh gosh, let's get trying to open that all cute and everything. Oh my goodness, this one is stuck. Okay, and this is the highlighter. Oh my gosh, I love the... Um, texture that they put in their powders so cool yeah the um, pattern is just like the face powder so let's actually let me swatch it first honestly when I swatch it it looks very very white and icy let's see can we see that it looks very light but we'll see how this looks on my skin tone. Oh, that's pretty. It definitely has a, a hint of pink to it, which this might actually be really pretty on top of blush. I'm just taking the tiniest bit. I don't wanna go overboard. It's actually a lot prettier when applied. Maybe it's the brush or something, but swatched, I don't love it, but applied to the actual face, it actually looks really pretty. And the pink is not overwhelming. I'm not a super into pink highlighters, but that's really pretty. Actually, before we move on to the blush, I am gonna do a little bit of bronzer. I'm gonna use my real bronze in the shade Serena. Oh, so good. One of my number one recommendations from Shantikai is their bronzer. It's so good. Okay, so also part of the Lotus collection is the Lotus Blossom Radiant Blush. And no, I think this is the only one that they came out with. Yeah, there's no name. It's just Lotus Blossom Radiant Blush. Same packaging as the powder and the highlighter. Oh, oh my gosh, mine like completely fell out of the pan. <laughs> so we gotta be real careful with that. All right, so that's the blush. Let's just be really careful. Actually, do they have any information about this formula? Because it's super soft. Smooth and, oh, no, wait. Lightweight and radiant, this blush gives the cheeks a natural looking flush with a hint of pearlescence. Okay. Let's feel this. Oh, ooh. It's like their, um, I love this formula. I have another blush 
from them that is this formula. It's almost like a cream, but it's not. It's a powder. So that's the blush. Very, very glowy. And swatch it right here. Ooh, that's almost like a highlighter. Wow, that is super glowy. Kind of reminiscent of like ColourPop Super Shop formula. Not quite that fragile, but yeah, very, very, very creamy. Oof, and really, really glowy. Wow, honestly, this might work better for me as a highlighter. Yeah, because there's really not a ton of color coming off. You can see, like, that's all just glow. I actually want some color on my cheeks, so I went and grabbed one of their cheek shades. I love, 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 love these little blushes, and these are refillable. And I'm going to use the shade Emotion, which is the little bumblebee. So cute. I don't think this was limited edition. Um, but they have a bunch of these cheek shades on their website. Where's my brush? Okay. But I was just feeling like I need, I need a little bit more color on the cheeks. So that is all the complexion products. I am going to do just a quick little eye look because I never talked about their fall collection on my channel. I did an Instagram reel, but I never showed y'all the fall collection. So one of the quads is sold out, at least today when I looked at it, it was sold out. Um, but for the fall time, they came out with two quads, a lip veil, is it a lip veil or a lip chic? I can't remember. Um, but yeah, so I thought I would just show y'all what these look like. This one is available, this one is not. Um, this is the Cougar Eye Quartet. Just really, really gorgeous. And then this is the Black Jaguar. Black Jaguar, such a weird word to say. Eye Quartet. So a lot more fun, a little more colorful. So I just wanna show those to y'all in case you were not aware, didn't see them. Um, that was part of their fall collection. I think for today, I'm, since this is sold out, I don't want to use this. Um, I think I might be able to use a little bit of the Black Jaguar one. I actually have not used this quad yet, so maybe we'll dip into this guy a little bit. I'm just going to take this kind of bronzy, shimmery bronzy shade. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I want to do something pretty simple. Ooh, wow, that shade is not at all what I was expecting. It looks super dark in the pan, but on the eyes, it's, it's actually not too, too dark. Ooh, that's really pretty. I like that. It looks almost glossy. Honestly, that might be all that I do with the eyes. I'm kind of just liking... A little one and done eyeshadow. Wow, this shadow is so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Wow, that is stunning. Kind of the formula reminds me of their um, mermaid eyes. Oh yeah, okay, so this is the mermaid eye color in the shade Copper. So that's copper, and then that's the shade from the eye quad. So yeah, the one in the quad is much deeper. I have another shade called Sylvie, which is also, well, it's not as metallic. That's the mermaid eye color in Sylvie. It's not quite as uh, shimmery. This is another formula that I think is so worth it from Shantikai. I know their products are so expensive, um, but there are a few formulas within the line that I think just can't be duped and their mermaid eye colors are one of them and I've had a few of mine for a really long time and they have not dried out at all so yeah really beautiful Ooh, I love that all right I'm gonna take the shade Sylvie along my lower lash line as well let's take a little bit of copper just kind of maybe pat that on the center of the lid and I don't know how to describe this formula. It's not a cream, I don't think. It's like a pressed pigment. 
like almost reminds me of the L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadows, but these are a little bit, these are much softer than those. That's like the closest thing I can think of. So pretty. I need to, uh, I need to use these more often. These are so good. Okay, so I'm going to curl my lashes, apply mascara. I do have quite a few liners. They're not a part of the holiday collection, but you know, we'll apply one anyway. And then we will play around with their new lip jewel, lip crystal. Yeah, that looks really interesting. So I'm gonna do my mascara, I'll be right back. All right, so with their Lotus collection, Shantika has launched a new lip crystal. I have tried this formula before, but obviously this is a new color. Uh, this is the shade Pink Opal. And I have not swatched this, but I did take a peek. She's a stunner. All right, so gorgeous, just like pistachio green packaging as with the rest of the collection. And then, oh my gosh, look at this. Look, look at that. Do we, I don't even know, can y'all see the like glitter? Oh my gosh, I just don't even wanna touch it. So this shade looks like a peachy nude and then the little glitter flecks are gold and pink. Like it has this almost like iridescence to it. <gasps> oh my gosh. I don't know why I wanted to smell it, but it does smell good. It's vanilla. But anyway, oh, I don't want to ruin it, but I really want to see what this color looks like. So let's swatch it first before we apply it to the lips so we know what we're working with. Oh wow, oh, it's so sheer, okay. So this one is a lot more sheer than their last one that I tried. It almost just looks like a gloss, which, ooh, that would be really pretty on top of a lipstick. Let me swatch it maybe down here. Let's see it better. Yeah. So it's just like this opalescent, iridescent, like, shine. Oh my gosh, that is stunning. I kind of want to put that on my cheeks. Wow, 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 wow. All right, I'm gonna wipe that off. Okay, so I'm thinking I might need to line my lips first. Oh, and I didn't do eyeliner either. Maybe we'll skip eyeliner. I totally forgot I was gonna do some liner. But you know what? I'm just gonna skip liner. Okay, but let's do some lip liner. Um, I'm just gonna do my favorite Mineral Fusion Graceful, the lip pencil that won't die. And then we'll apply this on top and see the magic that it, this is because it looks so pretty. It's so different than what I was expecting. Gosh, it still just looks so gorgeous in the tube. Like this pistachio color with this peachy color. Oh my gosh. With the gold. Oh my gosh. So pretty. Yeah. Very, very glittery. You can't really feel it. You feel a little bit. A little bit of the glitter. Yeah, that's pretty. This would look gorgeous in photos. It's a little, oops, it's a little glittery in person. You have to be okay with having glitter on your lips, but it really does give a beautiful effect. It makes your lips look really big. Yeah, I like that. With just a little bit of lip liner, I think that's perfect. And if the glitter is too much, you could even just apply this to the center of the lips on top of your lipstick just for a little bit of little bit of drama. That's really pretty. I like that. Very different. It's it's unique, and that's why I love these lip crystals. They're they're just different. Like I don't I've never owned a lipstick like this before. I've never seen a lipstick like this before. So I like how unique it is. And then, like I mentioned before, with every purchase of a lip crystal, you plant a tree. Which I don't know where you plant a tree. It just says one tree planted, but I'm not really sure where, but anyway. All right, that is the Shantikai holiday collection, the new Lotus collection. Everything is just, oh, it's so, so beautiful. I, like I said, I love when Shantikai comes out with their new collections. Shantikai is a very, very, very pricey brand but they do give back a lot to different wildlife organizations. If you go on their website, you can actually see what every product 
what your purchase goes towards, which I think is really cool. It's a family owned business, which I think is also really cool. And they just, they don't disappoint. Like I just, I love their products so much. So I will make a little list in the description box of all the previous Shantikai videos that I've done in the past in case you haven't seen those or you just need a little refresher. If you're just curious about what products that maybe are not limited edition that I really like from Shantikai, that's the only bad thing is you buy these, but then if you really fall in love with it, you use it up, you can't repurchase it. So that's not the greatest thing, but if you wanna see some of my favorite, favorite Shantikai products, definitely try and list as many videos as I can down below. And maybe that'll help y'all if you want to know more about Shantikai or just kind of see what other products I really like. And honestly, this is one of my favorite collections that they've done so far. Packaging is the best. Like, I think this is the best packaging they've ever done for any of their limited edition sets. But also, I really like the products that they came out with. These are so beautiful and I can't wait to play around with them more. So thank y'all so much for hanging out with me today. As always, remember, I love you, God loves you, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys. You are